now to a story we're tracking by the hour. The Port of Houston is shut down as dock workers and union members with the International Longshoremen's Association, or ILA, demand fair compensation and protections against automation from their employers, the United States Maritime Alliance. KPRC2's Bill Barajas has the latest on the negotiations and the impacts to local consumers. Hundreds and hundreds of dock workers came out today in what can only be described as an act of solidarity. Many of them carrying signs. You can see some of them there that read ILA workers over machines defend our jobs and rights. We are the union. The crowd are several hundred strong. The mighty, mighty union. The picket at the port, a result of an expired contract and failed negotiations between the International Longshoremen's Association, which represents dock workers at ports from Maine to Texas, and their employer, the United States Maritime Alliance. Hey! The Texas Gulf Coast Area Labor Federation was in attendance to stand with dock workers. There are workers that are raising their voices, looking out for themselves and their families. Houston Mayor John Whitmire also making a stop to meet with those on strike. We want a fair contract, fair wages, and we don't want to eliminate jobs without consultation with all stakeholders. Until a deal is done, businesses and consumers will be impacted. Only time will tell how big those impacts might be, though. Ed Emmett, a fellow in energy and transportation policy at Rice University's Baker Institute, broke it down for us. I think it's important that we talk about Houston as an energy capital because people think, oh, what's this going to do to us? Well, uh, shipments like oil tankers and those types of ships aren't affected at all. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the major brake bulk cargo isn't affected at all. This is mainly container and automobile traffic. And the containers, uh, the, the most immediate impact will be, in fact, fruits and vegetables uh, because those don't have a shelf life. The U.S. Maritime Alliance released a statement just a few hours ago saying they have made an offer to the ILA, which included a nearly 50% wage increase. It's unclear right now whether the ILA will accept that offer. We're waiting for their response. We'll We'll keep you posted. For more on this strike, you can go to our website, clicktohouston.com. In Seabrook, Bill Barajas, KPRC 2 News.